July wrap up part one. So in the first book I'm here to talk to you about is Brightside by Kim Holden and I will just read you the synopsis. Secrets. Everyone has one. Some are bigger than others and when secrets are revealed some will heal you and some will end you. Kate Cedric's life has been anything but typical. She's endured hardship and tragedy but for odds all she remains happy and optimistic. There's a reason her best friend Gus calls her Brightside. Kate is strong-willed but Funny, smart and musically gifted. She also never believed in love. So when Kate moves San Diego to attend college in the small town of Grant, Minnesota, the last thing she expects is to fall in love with Keller Banks. They both feel it, but they, have each, they each have a reason to fight it. They each have a secret, and when secrets are revealed, some will heal you and some will end you. And I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. And I will have my full review linked in the down bar. The next book I want to talk to you about is... Pan by Gina L. Maxwell. I will just find you the synopsis. No. Once upon a time in Nev Neverland, North Carolina, Carolina, I fell in love. I was 12 when Peter first climbed up to my balcony, 13 when I sneaked out to see him at the school for last boys, and, eight and 17 when his touch made me fly, and 18 when his words made me cry. We were magnetic, drawn to each other from the very, that very first night, and what I thought would be forever. But when it came time for me to leave, he wouldn't come with. So I left town with a map for my future and a shattered heart. Ten years later, I returned to Neverland, hoping to find a man in place of the boy. Peter was partially right, growing up is no fun. After qu quitting my fancy career that took the magic out of life, I'm now organising the fundraiser of the year. In a move that could make or break the event and my new company, I've hired Peter, master mechanic and owner of LB Automotive, to help me pull out this off, trusting him to rebuild a classic car for the auction that could help hundreds of foster kids in need. I thought I was prepared, but the boy who refused to leave is now a man hell-bent on getting me to stay. And as sparks fly between us, that undeniable fire, fire fl flares back to life deeper and hotter than ever. But that ripped body doesn't mean Peter's matured enough to make us all, all this event work, and not everyone is in Neverland is happy about my return. Not every wound heals, not every heart can be fixed, not every boy grows up. And after all this time, the love we found might be lost to us again this time forever. And I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. I truly enjoyed it, and I couldn't put my Kindle down again while reading it. I also finished a series this month, uh, a trilogy, and it is the... Red Fawn's Crew Trilogy uh, oh, by Rebel Heart um, and I gave that whole series 4 out of 5 stars um, I enjoyed every single one I will just show the yet yeah, read you the synopsis Oh, I've gone on the wrong thing. I'm in the synopsis. <sighs> Never. Didn't, um, this, I'll just read you the, read you the tagline. The tagline is, um, lost it. Sons of Anarchy, Anarchy, uh, Anarchy meets Grace. And I get, as I said, I gave all this series four out of five stars. I also read and enjoyed The Mighty Storm by Samantha Towell. And I gave that four out of five stars. And I cannot wait to dive into the rest of this series. I then picked up Dash by Tegan Brook and I gave that 3 out of 5 stars I also read To Love Jason Fawn by Ella Mays and I gave that one 4 out of 5 stars then I read Kings of Mayhem 
Mayhem by Penny D. And I also give that 4 out of 5 stars. Uh, then, another book that I have read this month and truly enjoyed is The Silver Swan by Amo Jones. And I gave that 4 out of 5 stars and can't wait to continue on. Um, and I, well, I have continued on with the second one. I've got the third book to read and the last two. And then I read the sequel to Bright Side by Kim Holden, which is Gloss. And I also gave that one five out of five stars. And I am planning on reading the third book in the trilogy, which is Franco, next month. So, yeah. They are some of the books I read the first half, uh, the first half of this month. And I will... Because as you know, if you watch my weekly reading vlogs, I read a few, quite a lot more than that so far. Um, and I will see you in my next video. So, bye guys. You hurt me, you did, several times. It hurts to admit that we're no different. I find it hard to commit, but you don't even try. Still I'm better with and without you Oh